This is Paradise Hotel, the most exotic, most exclusive resort in the world, where every desire is fulfilled, and the only rule is hook up or go home. How far will you go to stay in paradise? Let me tell you something. Do not trust anybody. Previously on Paradise Hotel, I think my mom would think you're adorable. As Amanda drew closer to her bow, Oh, really? He began to pull back. For one week, I just might need to get away. It pisses me off like you have no idea. Insecurities resurfaced between Amy and Zach. Slept with you last night. That wasn't good enough for me. Zach, sometimes you're an ass. Charlotte, fearing elimination and desperate for a roommate, worked all angles. She made out with Zach. She chose Andon for her exotic boat cruise. This is the Best. And she plotted with Scott. I gotta last. Ultimately, I think it'll be a. Then, a surprise twist. Charlotte, nobody leaves paradise without having had a roommate. Charlotte was saved. So in the roommate selection, Charlotte chose Scott, Amy chose Zan, Kristen chose Alex, and when Amanda and Melanie both chose Bo, he was loyal to Amanda, making Melanie the first guest forced to check out. The women had to choose between two guys wanting a ticket to paradise. Let me come to your island. The lady's choice. Dave, welcome to paradise. Ah! And in another twist, as the newest hotel guest arrives in paradise, Dave from Boston now gets to choose any one of the five women as his roommate tonight. And welcome to Paradise Hotel, the most exotic, most exclusive hotel in the world. This is the only show where fans of the action can become stars of the action. This is our gateway to paradise, our LA studio. Hello, LA. <laughs> oh, you have a mighty fun pair of long onions. Now, just two days ago, I was there as Paradise's newest guest was selected. The women of Paradise chose Dave, and he couldn't have been more excited and delighted. But you know how we love our surprises in Paradise? We then told Dave that as the newcomer, he had his choice of the lovely ladies to be his roommate. Now, tonight, Dave is about to hit Paradise. Which girl will he choose? Which guy will become the vulnerable outsider? And what about the couples? Which ones have the look of love? And which ones are ready to rumble? Let's find out right now. Hey, so are we gonna do that thing for Dave? Okay. Like, I wanted to go get like the like toilet like, paper and make him like a sash. I'm right. Welcome, uh, new guy. <laughs> what else can we do today? He could pomade his hair. Oh, you're an initiator, my guy. Actually, I don't know if we're gonna initiate him or the guys. You know like what? Who do you think the new guy's gonna choose as a roommate, honestly? Tony? Tony. Why do you guys think Dave's gonna pick Tony? Because they had a connection. Well, I, I know, I'm not That's saying that. I don't know. But I'm gonna tell him Kristen farts in her sleep so she doesn't pick him. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that walks in through these doors are gonna have to break through the barrier, leave been together for this long. We've been through a lot together. We've had a lot of emotions rise and fall. A new guy is gonna have to prove it to us. Hey, Pedro. How are you? Welcome. Very well. How are you? Very well. This is Dave, Pedro, Pedro, Dave. Hi, great to meet you. 
Welcome to Florida. Thank you. Great to be here. One, two, three. Bailey's family! Wait! I'm the guy who... What are we going to call Dave? <laughs> this is Paradise. There he is! <laughs> Right. I just want to remind you of something. Uh, some bombshell I hit you with the other night. Do you remember that? Sure. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That was a day was going to be able to choose any one of you lovely ladies that tickled his fancy. Remember that? Yep. Well, listen. He's going to be doing that tonight. So why don't y'all welcome Dave to Paradise? Welcome. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's in the kill. The bar. Welcome. Dave. Bar. When Dave first walked down, I was like, thank God he's at Paradise Hotel because he needs his hand. Well, the big question on everybody's mind right now about David is who he's going to pick to be a roommate. Yeah, well, Can you guys tell me who's hooked up with who? We've all kissed, but... Uh, the only person I kissed is Dad, so... No. You kissed me! Right. Right. Bo was worried, and he got me worried that Dave would pick me. You guys are known just, you know, as the married couple. Of course. <laughs> so I came in, I had a list of what girls to choose. I'm like, anyone but a man. You know what I can't mess with the married couple. I just said. I think Dave will pick um, Tony or Amy <laughs> or Amanda. One thing about me, this is really important. I am honest. Like, I am not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to your face. I promise you that. I promise you that. I'm going on the record as saying I will not be making an ass out of myself. Yeah. Oh, oh, we, all that. we all said that. This one's Tony's room. It's got like a butterfly thing. And then. Tony um, and. Tony and Andy. And what's the deal with Tony? They're just friends. Oh, and man, everyone knows is like a married couple, but they don't hook up or anything. So I mean, Amanda They're not always right now. Amanda's always like, oh, I'm single. So Charlotte's very quiet. Charlotte hasn't said a word. She doesn't say anything. Don't expect her to. It seems like Charlotte is on the ass right now. She, yeah, she's not doing too well. You've literally been pissing me off for about five days now. I can't protect you anymore. Like you've been like my little sister, and I've totally tried to stick up for you. You're driving Scott nuts. You're driving me nuts. Zach nuts. Bone nuts, Amanda, all of us, all ten of us have had it. I'm done. Me and uh, Amy are here. You guys, all right, so you guys put the first one. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. So I need you to do the first person ever uh, <laughs> sex with Paris without congratulations. That's correct, thank you. Like, I, I definitely think that you're a sweet girl, but I think that um, just. I'm just having trying. a hard time. I know you're having a hard time, but you know what? These relationships and these friendships are real. And I think that's where, you know, maybe you're going wrong. The least connected people are Tony Yen and Scott Charlotte. Here's a black room with the thing. This is where you are going to make someone be tonight. So sad. Yes, so true. So so some guy's going to stay here tonight. Right. OK, bye. Movie me. <laughs> this is what you eat sometimes. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. You know, this is amazing. Yeah. Paradise is an understatement. <laughs>he wants to be my roommate. The only strategy that I could possibly do would be like to be a complete bitch to him. No, don't, don't. don't. And I'm not going to, but like don't, it ran through my head. I, I just got here, literally, but you seem like a little bit quieter than some of the group, like a little bit like different from some of the group. Um, are you having a good time here? Like, do you want to stay and stuff? Oh, I want to stay. Do you want to stay with Scott? No. Okay. You think if he picked you that I'd be voted off? I don't know. I just, I don't even want to, like... <laughs> yeah, there's twists that I don't we don't know about. <laughs> take that chance. Like, I seriously, if you've left, Bo, I would be so sad. Next on Paradise Hotel, Dave makes his move on the women. I was totally in love with you the first time I saw you. And makes a lasting impression on everyone. I have man boobs! <laughs> How many people have you had sex with? Oh, OK, like, whoa. You've got to earn my respect, man. He doesn't have it yet. Then, later. It's decision time. Dave has to choose a roommate. Which of the couples will Dave break up? I'm actually going to choose. I was 
totally in love with you the first time I saw you. Then everyone made you seem like... <laughs> That's so sweet. People made you seem like you're different from... I don't know like if you haven't had a good time here or... It's just because I'm the only one that has Hassan as a roommate. And when people have a roommate, they're like this. They don't give time for anybody else. But then they try to act like it's your fault. Let me tell you something. Yes. Do not trust anybody. I'm... Except you? Okay. Except what I'm telling you now. Like, I'm it's being hard honest to trust with people. you. Yeah. So here's the deal. Okay. The person I pick... Tonight is definitely look in my eyes because I sw you, you just met me, so I want to make sure you know how I'm telling the truth. Okay. The person I picked tonight is definitely not the person that I want to room with. If what you're saying is the truth, then don't pick me because I would love to share a room with you. You, you, you I mean, you do completely understand that, right? Pinky Square? Pinky Square is my middle name. I probably want to room with you this week. I don't know who I'm picking, but I want to be here a while. And I like you, and I know you have a really good head on your shoulders. Thank you very much. I've always promised you, you and everyone, I'm going to be honest. Based on what you guys see, what do you guys think I should? What do you guys think I should? I think you should if you were Dave. Who do you pick coming to the Paradise Hotel? First pick. Tony or Charlotte? Sure. If I were Dave, yeah. and I just came here. Who do you pick? Anything can happen. I don't know what you want to do. I want to meet the girls, I want to stick around for a while. No matter what, you're going to meet the girls. You're going to that. Hey! Show the new guy some ass! She's hot, Dave. She's hot. Awesome. Where's my shirt? Help. I have man boobs. Hey, just call me man boobs, guys. Dave, welcome to paradise. Okay, everybody, how are we doing? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> right, it's decision time. This is the moment when Dave has to choose a roommate. Are you all ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, follow me. Dave, four of these couples have been together from the very beginning. They're forced to be reckoned with, yeah? Yes. Okay. While Charlotte and Scott, they're kind of honeymoon roomies. They've only been together a couple of days. But Dave, you can choose any one of these ladies you want. Just remember, guys, the moment he makes his choice, one of you guys will be living alone for the rest of the week. Dave, have you made a decision? Before I make my decision, I want to say this. <laughs> Thank you so much for making my introduction to Paradise Hotel so awesome. You guys are all awesome. You guys have been so welcoming. And I appreciate every minute of it. I was worried coming in that you guys were like totally bonded and you guys would look at me like an outsider. You guys have all been totally awesome. Thank you again. I'm actually going to choose Amanda. Okay, Dave, would you like to take a seat beside Amanda? Sure, thank you. How's it going? Sir. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to give you this. Okay. I guess I will give you this. Thank you, sir. Okay. You all right, Bo? It's part of the game. Okay, we'll talk to you in just one sec. First of all, Dave, can you tell me, apart from the obvious reasons, yes. why you chose Amanda? Uh, well, everyone's wonderful. Um, I just thought uh, it would be a nice start to, uh, to live with Amanda for a bit. Okay. The guys now outnumber the girls, which means at next week's roommate selection, one of you guys is definitely going home 
and we'll be leaving paradise forever. <laughs>
whatever. But I would never go up to someone after knowing the person for a couple hours and say, "What have you like sex with?" What have you done? True. I, I agree. And I, agree. I, and, I, and, I and I said, "No, I don't. No." And I said, "Well, it's not, it's not anyone's business, but me and the other person." And then when he says, "No, I need to know," it's like, "Why?" There are manners. All right, take off the gloves. What's up? He's got to earn my respect, man. He doesn't have it yet. I hear you. He's going to come in here and tell me what I do for a living. I'm going to try to explain, then he cuts me off. Right now, he has none of my respect. I'm just being honest with you. I know. I saw You it. saw that. I know you I saw it. I was here. And I just sat here and looked. I looked at my plate, and I just thought, man. Wrong you answer. Wrong answer. You don't tell another person what their job is. You shut your mouth, and you listen. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Um, do you like me or not like me? Okay. Hey, I don't think they expect you to be like you are. What do they expect? I don't think they thought you'd be as aggressive. Aggressive. <laughs> Bro, I'm not, I haven't even been aggressive. I'm just trying to you get to have. You think? Yeah. Wow. Can you please just tell me? That's kind of important to okay. me, I think they expect you to be more of a pushover. Well, I'm not. Amanda? What, honey? Maybe the break will be good. Um, again, it just bothers me they didn't have a choice, you know, but whatever. I'm moving out! <laughs> the reason I'm doing this, I know we gotta change. So I like to tour you better than other people. I'm, it's not about like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right, cool, that's it, it's done. What, um, I'm sorry, bro, that you have to move on. That really sucks. Hey, we all have to move once in a while. This way you guys can get married after you see how okay. no, hard it is. If one more person says anything you want, about Bo and I getting married, if you want to get it's along with not us, happening. never right. bring up that this again. Way, like, once she sees how hard it is to live with me, she thinks everything's also a fight. <laughs> she really does. So be careful with that, too. Just with you, Bo. Just with you. You don't really need to do that. Whatever I can get other people. To chill. Just try chill. not to get chill. I just threw you out of your house. This is fine. This is your house, too. Um, try not hey. to get water on the leather. Mama. I didn't realize quite the fallout of my decision. I think the best way for you to look at this situation now is you're in jail. You know what, man? You bruised a few toes tonight. It could be a good break. Not with him, like not with somebody I don't know. He comes here and I'm worried that he's gonna pick me and he picks me like you I know just... what I don't like? Every pick has involved me and every pick has involved you. You are in a very difficult situation. You're in a more, I think you're in a more difficult situation than any of us ever went through before. Yes, this is Paradise Hotel, but there's a way to survive, and, and it's to keep your sanity. Give the guy the benefit of the doubt. I think it's not fair if we don't give someone a chance to prove themselves. comfortable in my room anymore with David. I'm so used to Bo being there. I'm just not comfortable living with a new person, especially somebody who just got here. And it's hard. It's going to take a while, I think, to accept him. I don't know what I'm going to do. All I know is I don't like being in the black room.
next on Paradise Hotel. Each of you write one question that you would like answered by the guest of your choice and place it in Pandora's box. Will a shocking revelation from Amanda. I'm sorry, that's wrong. Spell the end for her and Bo. I'll never talk to you ever again. Oh my God. Here, let me read it out loud. The first mortals lived on Earth in a state of perfect bliss. Jupiter decided to create woman and called her Pandora. Then Mercury brought forth a box and decreed it not be opened. But left alone with the mysterious casket, Pandora became inquisitive and wondered to herself, should I open the box? Should I open it? <laughs> Each of you write one question that you would like answered by the guest of your choice and place it in Pandora's box before dinner tonight. Ready for Pandora's box. Yeah! Okay. Bo. Yes. My buddy. What's up? Besides Amanda. Right. What woman at Paradise Hotel would you most want to be with and why? <laughs> <laughs> um, if I were to change roommates uh, and I couldn't choose Amanda, I'd probably choose. Don't lie. <laughs> No, I'd probably choose Amy, actually. I mean, the main reason why is because she's fun, she's my personality, and she's a cool girl. Yeah. All right. Oh, come on, rock star. Open up the box and give us a question. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I like this one. Kristen. Oh, hi. Hey. <laughs> you and Alex seem to really get along. But when it comes right down to hooking up, seems like you tease them. <laughs> I don't think anybody teases anybody because... It seems like you tease him. Is this true or do you think he teases you? You have two choices, true or does he tease you? I flirt, I flirt. I'm a big flirt. I'm, I'm, I'm not denying that I am the biggest flirt ever, right? But if he is going to do something, then he can make the move, but I'm not going to be the one to do it, and I'm not a tease, because I'm there. Woo! But in my defense, but in my defense, this is Kristen every night we go to bed and emotions are running high. <laughs> that is Kristen, okay? That's Kristen. Amanda, okay. Would you ever cheat on Bo with a guy at the hotel? Okay. First off, Bo and I are not in a relationship. Okay? We are just friends. Second off, <laughs> second off, if I was in a relationship with Bo, it's as simple as keeping me happy that I wouldn't cheat on him. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not saying no. I'm not saying When y'all are done, I'll talk. I'm not saying that Bo wouldn't, but in any relationship, you gotta keep the other person happy. It's a 50-50 thing. If you slack off on your half, then that's when a person would tend to go elsewhere. If you're not happy, you break up with someone before that would happen. But you know what? That's. That's how you handle things and handle things differently. And that's the answer to the question. The thing that Amanda said that sparked all the controversy was she's cheated on her boyfriends. Amanda, would you ever cheat on Bo with a guy at the hotel? I wasn't expecting a question like that. If I was in a relationship with Bo, it's as simple as keeping me happy that I wouldn't cheat on him. It was not only a shock to me, it was a shock to everyone. Do you think her response was right? Dude, she just said that any guy that she goes out with that doesn't make her happy, she can't in her mind cheat on because he's not making her happy. I'm sorry, 
That's wrong. Please don't cheat on me either. Okay. <laughs> I promise I won't cheat on anybody else. No. Oh, <laughs> Amanda. Amanda. Pandora's box tells the truth. <laughs> I don't get what he does anymore. I'm just happy we're not the married couple anymore. Definitely not now. Like, I feel like an ass. You know, I and mean, we all want to be We are friends. And then we're friends. You said we're friends to you one more time, but I'm going to smack you. If you ever smack me, I'll never talk to you ever again because I don't deserve it. No, I don't deserve it. He cares. He cares about you. And it's the point now where I think that it just needs to come to the surface and you guys just need to bring it up to each other. He thinks I'm crazy. A friendship is worth saving and it's worth salvaging and it's worth something. Okay. Are you mad at me right now? I made a connection with you and then possibly down the road, something could have happened. I could never give 110%. If I knew, if you're not happy, you would go off and find someone at that time to make you happy. I'm not holding that against you. That's who you are. There's always a possibility that somebody's gonna cheat. There's always a possibility that somebody's not gonna be happy. Amanda, there's always that possibility. But you know what, that's a cop out. You control what you do, Amanda. You control what you do. It hurt a little bit to find out that he thought there could be something more. And now he doesn't think that way. I see a completely different side of her. I don't look at her the same because that says a lot about her character. And that's it. Guys, ladies, look what I got. It's a letter. Congratulations. Today you will be going on a private luxury excursion. Pick the two women you want to join you. I'm going to take Carla and um, Amy. Can I wear this? That fun. What are you doing? Dave, you're taking two lovely women on a shopping trip. No! Are you kidding me? Do it! Amy comes back and she's all, I'm in love with Dave. <laughs> I've never, definitely never been on a date with two women. And definitely never a date with two so beautiful women. Why did you, why did you pick me? Well, uh, all the guys are always talking about how much fun you are. And uh, I didn't have a chance to, before today to see that. Yeah. Okay. I got to see today. Cool. Thank you. That's nice. So, uh, why'd you pick Charlotte? Why'd I pick you? Yeah. Well, Charlotte, you definitely, more than anyone, made the effort to get to know me and to let yourself um, go and to be yourself with me. Um, and I appreciated that. So, you know, I want to get to know you better, too. I don't want anybody to feel like I felt the touch. So I wanted to talk to you. Well, you totally made me feel welcome. Good. I'm glad. I'm cool. glad. I'm glad. Yay. It's good times. Yep. It's a good time. Hello, George.
Where are they? Oh, okay. Didn't talk to me. You gave me last, so you haven't given me a chance to. I want to see you guys. I'm going to talk to you now. I just let you do your thing. What? Just let you do your thing. I think he should be in the boat tomorrow. That's what I think. He really did Charlotte, though. I made sure of that. You're not going home. I'm going to be chicken out. What do you think you're going to be chicken out? I don't know, man. I got a bad feeling. Set, like, Alex the, dreamt I was going to die. I dreamt I was being sucked out of this place. All when that Dave dude got here. Like, everyone's been having bad dreams about me. What do you think it's you? Because everyone's been having bad dreams about me. Grab your champagne glasses. All right, everyone, 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 right now. Champagne for my real friends, real pain for my sham friends. Much love for Paradise Hotel. And all of those who don't believe that we're not a family, you're all wrong on 7 Eleven. Can we talk for a second before? Shoot. I just want to, you know, make sure we're cool and like, Obviously, everything we've talked about in terms of, I mean, someone's going home tomorrow, so if it's up to you, you'll keep me here. What? We'll, we'll talk. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't want to. Oh my God. You know what, Tony? I'm so scared right now. Scott. Hey, I'm thinking this. This place is addictive, man. You know, you get here, you just want more. You know it's not good for you, but you don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. I mean, look around you. Are you kidding me? I'm crying thinking about either you leaving, or Scott leaving, or Zach leaving, or Andon leaving, or any of you guys leaving. It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. Can I just say something? Sure. I really feel like no one likes me. Still? Yeah. You know what? I feel like no one likes me. But don't feel like the outsider because you're not. There's another person here who feels like more of an outsider than you ever could imagine. Dave? Oh, yeah. I'm the new guy, so nobody loves me. The one person who I thought really was into me is out for it with her new friend. Yes, I feel bad for Dave. Anyone that comes in here is going to just get pushed aside. And especially when one of you leaves, there's going to be animosity towards anybody new. Because they're the reason that other person left. Whether you like it or not. If that girl me over. She's not. She's not like that. Just so you know, there's back rubbing now. <laughs> Thanks for coming and hanging out with me, sweetness. You know what? I couldn't apologize enough for being a are you being honest? I'm being completely honest, talking Thank here. You. They're done talking. They're done talking? They're yeah. kissing you? They're they're no, they're laughing this way. Because I'll throw it out. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. We would send you home if we could. 
Bonds will be broken. He's weird. He's really loud and obnoxious. Emotions reach a breaking point. I don't want to lose One of you six guys will be leaving Paradise Hotel forever. And as one guy checks out, someone from across America... The question is, are you ready to deal with me? ...will be chosen to check in to Paradise Hotel. I want to be the hot fudge Sunday that cools you boys down. <laughs>